Alrighty guys, it's another day, another day for modding. So yeah, gonna do some things to the car. Um, I made up a part last night. Well, I brought a drift button for my handbrake. So when I do go drifting in the near future, I don't have a handbrake that just locks on and stuffs me up. So yeah, it was only four bucks on eBay. It's for a Toyota 86 um, or BRZ um, Subaru. So yeah, it was a bit big. So I machined it down and I did that at work last night in my break. So um, that made it nice and easy that we have a lathe there that I could use. Um, yeah, so I put that on the car. Yeah, the other plan for today is to do some brakes. So I haven't painted brakes in, I don't know how long. Um, it was probably way back on my Calais I owned when I first got it. Then I upgraded to Brembo's, so I didn't paint them. So they came silver and red as is, I left them. So they look good, but yes. I've watched uh, many videos on YouTube on how to paint brakes just to see how people do it and um, all different ways but in the past when I've painted brakes I've just done it my own way. Um, I don't know if it's the right way, I don't know if there is a right or wrong way, um, it's just painting brakes. So I've seen other YouTube videos and a lot of people do it what I think is the wrong way where they leave the caliper on and just paint over it which is shit because you paint the back side of the brake pad, which I've done in the past and learned by that mistake. You don't want painted brake pads while they're in the caliper. So I like to remove them off the car. Um, some people mask everything up, but that seems a bit tedious when it's like usually just two bolts and you can remove it and hang it over to the side. Some people take them off and do it on a bench and then they re-bleed the whole system, but I haven't got two people here with me today to do that. So I'm just gonna probably pull them off over to the side and paint them. So we'll see how that goes. Got uh, the trusty guard dog, Bella. She's going to hang out in the garage with me today. Hey. Um, it's really hot and really smoky outside. I can't even see like over in distance from all these bushfires we've got. But as you can see, I believe this has got IS200 brakes on it. And one part is new and one part is old. So they look absolutely rubbish. So I want to paint them. And here's the rear. Um... They're a very small type, can't really see in there, but they're going to get painted too also. I'm probably going to start with the front first. The old trusty caliper paint. Bright red we're going, because I think red looks the best on most cars. I have done yellow before, but it won't suit this car, so nice and red. Cold start time, just going to move the car over. Starts like a dream. I don't have a car hoist, so... The old jack will have to do. And we're up on jack stands, nice and safe. Car's in the air. Let's do this, Bell. Get some wheels off. Oh, I love this thing. If you don't have an impact gun, get one. Like, they are the best. Like, I haven't had one for years and I've worked on cars for my whole life, pretty much. And, wow, just get one. Yep, these things look absolutely terrible, like disgusting. So I can't wait to make these bright red, nice and new looking. Bit sporty, heaps cheap mod. If you haven't done it, I say you do it already. In here's a bit gross, needs a bit of a clean. That's where the old bloke's wheels were rubbing. I could probably put some black paint on that. Um, my window washer hoses are broken because they fell down and rubbed on the wheel. So I've got to fix that. Be good to do that while I'm in here now, but I don't know if I have enough joiners to rejoin a new length. So I'll suss that out. But first of all, let's get this caliper off and hanging over to the side. Pretty much there's enough length in my <clears throat> brake line here that I can sort of sit it on a block and it has really no load on the brake line. And I can paint the whole thing nice and low down here without getting paint on any of this. So that helps. Um, I've just put down a drop sheet kind of thing just to stop paint going on my floor. I've taken out the pads and some springs, uh, some retainers because, yeah, they look nice and shiny and silver, so I want them to stay like that rather than become red like everything else. So now I've just got to clean everything and tape some things up, which I've already started to do. That's probably all I really need to do anyway, just a couple seals, the bleed point, and then we can paint this. Hopefully it turns out nice. Just some uh, brake cleaner, nice and easy. Spray it all over the thing and it should be ready for paint. It's, it's pretty new and all cleaned up from the last owner, so 
should do the trick. Has worked for me in the past. Now we're only really like painting the outside and these parts are the only bits you really see from behind the wheel. Um, you can do a bit over the back here and do that part of the caliper. You can do a bit over on the rear if you want, um, but pretty much we don't really need it inside here. You're never going to see it, especially on the bracket, don't really need that. So only paint the bits you really need to paint um, and we'll see. And it'll do the job because everything else is pretty hidden. I did tie wire it up off the ground just so I didn't have the block under it and sitting on it. Alrighty, let's do this. Alrighty, that's like the first coat done. I did end up spraying a fair bit of everything else, um, but you know, these things happen. Um, yeah, the nozzle on this can was pretty wide, so it kind of just got in everywhere. It doesn't matter, it's only a very light coat inside and around, but at least it's better than doing it up here on everything and getting overspray on all your suspension components. So I'll let that dry for a little bit, and then we'll do a second coat. Alrighty, both sides are painted. Minimal overspray. They look smick. What, what they did anyway. It's not a perfect job, but... Um, yeah, they're going to look heaps better than the, the two-tone rust and silver effect it had. So yeah, minimal overspray, pretty much all landed on my mat down here. And uh, yeah, we're good to put them on once they're dry. So I'll go have some lunch, give them plenty of time to dry, and they'll look heaps better. What do you think, Bella? Do you like them? You know, you're not, not impressed, are you? Oh well, too bad. So yeah, trying to fit them back in one piece is a bit difficult with uh, the clips and stuff on these brakes. I have I haven't worked with Toyota brakes before. I've only ever dealt with Holden, and they're a bit different. So um, I did the traditional method where I took out one of the pins and folded the caliper out of the way, and I'll try and put the pads in that way. And I'm gonna have to clean all my grubby fingerprint marks off of the freshly painted caliper because I got it rather dirty trying to suss things out. But anyway, these things happen. Much easier doing it this way. The um, brake pads just slid back in through the clips either side. Heaps easier than trying to put them in the front ways like I've done in the past. But, you know, I know that for next time now. So when I do actually change the pads, I'll um, do it heaps easier and do it this way. Yeah, you only learn by your mistakes, I guess. So, yeah, definitely know for next time, do it this way. I'm um, just putting in these clips. Um, they've got little holes on the pads to help locate it. It's in, they sit like that, fold the caliper back over, bolt the slide back up, and we're ready to party. So this side's done. I did this side a lot better just because I've learned from the other side that, yeah, it would be easier to um, undo the slide bolt and slide the caliper over and pop the pads in the original way. So for anyone who doesn't know, yeah, you can just undo like the top slide bolt here and the caliper will like roll away and your pads can just come out this way. That's an easy way of doing a pad change, but because I was painting the brakes, I just thought I'd like pull the whole thing off and paint it down here and then hopefully put it back on. But with the clips that Toyota use, they're a bit different to what I'm used to and it was a bit fiddly. So you kind of have to do it um, the original way where you yeah, fold the caliper out of the way um, or the piston part of it anyway and pop them in from the front and they run up the clips better because they have tapers. So you can push them in from this way rather than getting them from the back. So, yeah, I thought it'd be easier. I'm used to Holden's, not Toyota's. Um, I know that they can be done either way pretty easily, but these definitely are easier doing the slide undone. But still okay. Pulled it off the car, painted it, and, yeah, put it all back on, doing it the normal way, and they look good. I just had to touch them up with a bit of paint while they were on here and just made sure I didn't do too much overspray on anything, but just sort of wrapped stuff around it, and, yeah, they turned out good. So, yeah, they're well painted the other side was definitely the worst side because that was the side I learnt on but um, it looks very good too so you never know the clips are nice and shiny I hate when people paint like all this as well it's you know it's supposed to identify the pad to the brake I did get a bit on this one I might try and clean it off and make it a bit better it's a little bit better so for anyone who wants to paint their calipers the easiest thing to probably do is 
if you want to leave them on the car and just sort of mask up all this, you can do it. Um, paint over the brake pads, probably then let it dry, undo the bolt, pull that out of the way and put fresh pads in and then all this will be brand new and shiny and the old ones will just come out with the paint. I would suggest doing it that way because I think that would be easier to do um, your brake pads at the same time as painting them. But being that these were fresh pads, there was no point. So now I've got to go onto the rear. All right, wheels are on. The brakes look heaps better. Heaps better than that rusty look they had. So yeah, I'm happy with that. It just cleaned it up a bit. So yeah, onto the back. I'm thinking I will paint them red, even though that I think it might look a tad funny, I'm not sure. They're just a single pot, very small. So I might just like wrap them up and paint them on the car rather than taking these ones off. I'm starting to run out of time, so I might just do it the uh, cheap way and let's see how that goes. So yeah, pretty much, um, there's just like a clip, this, and a rod and a pin, and it just slides out and then your um, pads just slide out. So pretty easy to paint this one on the car and just wrap up things you don't want spray on so I might do that pretty easy just to leave them on that's the um, pad sticking out now just gotta push that in and put the pins through and put it all back together that turned out pretty good nice and easy the back definitely no sense in taking them off because yeah it's just easy enough to clean the overspray off off, off the brake with some brake cleaner it was just heaps more time consuming doing it uh, what well, would be pulling it off I mean so yeah, just to put it all back together and do the other side and then I'm done. Pin out. Well, clip. And then there's this pin. It's a bit different on this side. Hmm. This also can be pulled out. Somehow. The other side came easy. There we go. Just sort of pull out and in. That pin comes out, and then brake pads do slide out. A bit hard with one hand, but it's coming. Here it comes. Just a little bit, little bit. There it is, there's one out. Do the same with the front one here, and then you can paint without getting any on the pads. All done, looks heaps better. See the red, looks nice. Um, the only problem with this one was is that there's a bit of rust still on the rotor. I should have probably cleaned that, but I can do that another day. It's pretty easy. But yeah, they definitely look heaps better in red. Um, just cleans it up a bit and makes it look like a more presentable car, I guess, rather than rusty brakes. Anyway, that's it done. So thanks for watching and yeah, subscribe for more videos like this. I've got a few interesting ones coming up over the next few days. Um, I also managed to put in my drift button, so just unscrewed the factory knob and just had to machine this down and put it in and yeah, it works as it should. So yeah, that's a good install. i just not sure if I really like the red since I machined it down. I've got a bit of silver and red, so I might buy a silver one later on, but see how it goes.